Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm going to use my Whispers of Healing cards. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. All right. What you may be struggling with is unconditional love. What do you need to focus on? We have boundaries. Ooh, that's a good one. Those two are good. Energy is coming in. Acceptance. Ooh, I really like that one. All right. So what are you struggling with? Unconditional love. That's definitely a tough one. So that is where you, but I also feel that could go two ways, right? Is somebody, it could be that you are trying to reach out to somebody and you are trying to make the effort to somebody and that is not being returned to you. Or it could be that maybe somebody is trying to reach out to you and they are trying to give you that love, but you are not returning that to them. So that could go either way. So whatever resonates with you. Um, boundaries. I feel like what you need to focus on is boundaries and setting those boundaries and kind of um, I feel like having that conversation and saying, okay, that either you, you need or want to have that person in your life, but you have to set those boundaries that it has to be this certain, you know, it has to be a friendship, right? Um, or it has to be whatever it is that works for you so that way it feels healthier for you. Acceptance. Acceptance of the situation. And I feel like that is what helps is accepting that there is this unconditional love that is going on, whichever whichever way that's, that's going. <coughs> that can be a really hard thing to <coughs> accept because... You know, especially if you feel that it's someone that you really care for, but it's just not going to work. And it's kind of facing that reality and saying, you know what, I that is just not going to work. We have temperance, which I find is this caught my eye is because it's that back and forth. So struggling with that back and forth and that balance within this relationship. This could be a friend. It could be a family member. It could be a partner. It could be whatever situation relationship that you have where it's not that equal back and forth, right? It's not the partnership. It's not, maybe it's not what it used to be. Feelings change when you're in relationships and you, um, you grow and you change and over time those relationships change and you don't feel the same way. So I feel like you may have this scattered energy about this relationship and maybe you're going back and forth. Like maybe, are you forcing something? I kind of feel like, are you forcing something? Um, if it's that person is, sometimes we feel obligated that if somebody is trying to make the effort that we have to make the effort back. But I feel like, are you forcing something with this relationship? Also, if you're the one that's giving that love, I feel like it's maybe you're questioning it and you're saying, well, why am I putting all of this energy and effort into this situation, this relationship, when it's I'm not getting that in return and I keep waiting for this to happen and I keep waiting for this person to return this, but they're not. Um, so what you need to look at is boundaries. What are those boundaries that you need to set for yourself that are healthy boundaries so that um, you can get through this situation so that you can work work through this instead of it shutting you down, right, and, and blocking you? Because I almost feel like if you're in a situation where you feel there's this unconditional love and if you're giving all of this love and this to someone else. I almost feel like you have to realize that it's almost like you're working against yourself because you are keeping yourself in a situation where you are not getting that energy back, where you're not getting those feelings and that that love back. And I feel like it's kind of, again, looking out for yourself and saying, okay, why am I keeping myself in a situation 
where I'm feeling uncomfortable? Or why am I keeping myself in a situation where I feel like I can't give back to this person, right? That it can't be, this person wants this relationship to work, but I feel like I can't give it back to that person, right? And is it really fair for that person and is it fair for me? And I almost feel like it's kind of realizing, okay, why am I keeping myself in a situation that I feel is not the healthiest for me or that person? We have acceptance, acceptance of the situation and realizing that, okay, it's not going to be what I want it to be. It's not going to be how I want it to be. Maybe sometime in the future, it can be revisited. But at this moment, how am I feeling at this present time? How am I feeling and what are those boundaries that I need to set? Maybe you just need some time to yourself to work on things and then you can get back to the relationship. Like if it's a friend or, you know, whatever type of um, relationship it is and that maybe at this time you have other things that you need to work on, right? You don't want to shut yourself down by keeping yourself in a situation that you feel um, is not balanced or healthy for yourself. So acceptance. Acceptance. I love that with the star and it's that... Again, looking out for yourself and saying this is not a healthy situation for myself and giving yourself that ability to be back on track and go back on track and to move forward. Page of Cups and yeah, the Eight of Cups. So what... I feel like the acceptance brings in the page of cups because it's like, wow, I feel so much better now. I feel refreshed. I feel renewed. I'm not keeping myself in this situation where I'm having this back and forth. And you're able to move on. I feel like the overall energy is a seven of pentacles and you have to take some time to kind of think things through and really look at the situation and say, okay, if I'm feeling this unconditional love, whether I'm, you know, which other way it's going, what are those boundaries that I need to set to pr protect myself and to really help myself in this situation, to guide myself and to accept the situation for what it is and be able to move on in whatever way works for me and for me to feel more like emotionally better. I feel that it's kind of looking at why am I putting myself in this situation if I feel that it's not working for me. All right, so let's just grab, all right, so we have some cards here. We have the moon. I feel like it's that intuition and finding that clarity. I feel the 10 of pentacles, having that security in the situation. And then we have the standing stone, which is the justice card. And it's like doing things for yourself, right? It's Having that justice for yourself and saying, okay, this isn't working, so how do I change this? How do I fix this? You know, why am I keeping myself in this unconditional love situation? How do I find that stability to where things feel calmer? Because I, because I feel like there's this chaotic energy because of this unconditional love situation and it's chaotic energy and it's kind of all over the place. But I feel how do I make this calmer, right? And how do I, it's like the Knight of Pentacles is looking right towards, you know, headed right towards the star. Um, and it's that, that progress to making things better and you taking control of the situation and saying, what are those things that I can change to make this better? All right, um, let's grab a Wisdom of the Oracle. Poised. I feel like you're at the point where you're ready to make choices and you're ready to make decisions. I feel like poised is like, like you're ready. You're ready to go. You're ready to make things happen. Um, and I feel like you're, because like you're ready to see what's really going on. That maybe before you were ignoring things, but I feel like now you're ready to hear. Now you're ready to work on this situation and you're ready to set those boundaries all right i'm going to grab a empowerment card all right that one popped out we have honor your needs look at that Maybe you need more time to rest or maybe you need more playtime and fun 
or perhaps you want to spend more time walking your chosen spiritual path, ensure that you set time aside for yourself. You are important, right? Honor your needs. What are your needs in this unconditional love situation? What are your needs? And set yourself up so that you can receive those things that you need, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.